All right, all right, all right. Let's stop the cat. Let's stop the cat. I see a lot of people hating on URLs, Summer Sadness 13. I see a lot of y'all hating. And even though they might not have been the biggest, you know, matchups and the biggest names, Summer Sadness 13 sure was entertaining, bruh. It was absolute entertainment, bruh. Mixed in with a little bit of chaos. And we're going to talk about it. And then we got the rest of Remy Ma's I Do What I Want card. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not very excited. Shout out to Hollow to Dawn. I love Remy Ma. I think I might have had very high expectations of the card. Seems like a solid card, but I'm not too, too excited. You know what I'm saying? Just like I criticize URL, I can also criticize other leagues and cards as well. So let's also talk about that. Let's talk about it. Nah, 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 nah. Come on, man. We got to give some of these guys a lot of props, bro. We got to give some of these guys a lot of props. Again, I'm going to repeat. They might not have been the biggest matchups, the biggest names thrown on the card, blase, blase, blah. But the card turned out very, very entertaining. I'm not going to hold you. And there was some pretty, pretty solid battles on the card. There were definitely some solid battles on the card. I'm not going to hold you. Jerry West versus DNA. Jerry West, man. I've always liked Jerry West for one because he's from Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Brooklyn. That's where I was born. That's where I was bred until I moved to Rhode Island. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Providence. So I always liked Jerry West on top of the fact that he's always been very lyrical and very punch heavy. A lot of people have slept on Jerry West for a long time. And it's about damn time that he got to look on a Summer Madness 13. You know what I'm saying? No cat. Salute to Jerry West, bro. Dope, dope back and forth between DNA and Jerry West. You could pick whichever one you want. Honestly, you can justify any one of them winning. Dope battle. You know what I'm saying? You had uh, New Jersey Twerk versus Hollow to Dawn. I'm not going to lie. New Jersey Twerk, bro, completed three rounds, bro, and was pretty good. Pretty good versus Hollow to Dawn. Mr. Original, bro. Mr. Unique. Yo, New Jersey Twerk even went as far as doing a whole antic, bro. Putting on the hat and the glasses in the third round. Mocking Hollow the Dawn. New Jersey Twerk came prepared, bro. And he put on a great battle versus Hollow the Dawn. So salute to that. I can't hate, bro. I can't hate on that, bro. You know what I'm saying? We had Tay Rock versus Av. I honestly thought that this battle was going to be uh, uh, much more friendly than it was. So salute to Av and salute to Tay Rock for, for talking about the things that they needed to talk about and getting things off their chest. Av justifying and explaining the reasons he left Cave Gang and blah, 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 how he felt. Blah. That was a good back and forth. Good back and forths, bro. Rum Nitty versus Ace Mean, bro. You got Ace Mean having a breakout performance on Summer Madness 13. Salute to Ace Mean, even though I think you're completely wrong about, you know, your perspective on the URL and the business and blah, 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 blah. But that's besides the point right now. You put on a great battle versus one of who many people believe in the culture is a GOAT, Rum Nitty. Not many people can do that. Not many people can do that, bro. There's a lot of talk about Ace Mean. I hear more talk about Ace Amin than Rum Nitty. So who really won? I don't mean the battle. I mean the situation. Like Ace Amin gets talked about now because he put on a great performance, even though he might not have won bar for bar lyrically or whatever. Whatever people want to, you know, have their opinions, but he's still being talked about. So that's a W for Ace Amin. Now, as far as uh, T-Top and, 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 and uh, John John the Don, I didn't quite catch that battle, so I got to watch that back. But I heard they had also had a great back and forth. So a lot of these battles, even though they might not have been the battles we wanted to see or the matchups, bro, were, were well executed. Well executed. So salute to URL for that. There wasn't no chokes. But as a matter of fact, remember when I said there was a little bit of chaos? Disaster versus real sick. Mmm. Disaster, 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 bro. Whew. I feel like disaster just doesn't know when to chill, man. He has no chill, bro. Like, I feel like he belongs on the I do what I want card, which we're about to get into, the I do what I want card, because that man really does what he wants, bro. That man was getting booed out. And I'm not going to lie. 
it might, it doesn't even matter, bro, whether the, the that battle specifically was good or bad, bro. It was super entertaining, bro. Disaster came out, put on a muscle suit. Disaster got booed, bro, off the stage. Real Sick was sitting there whooping his ass, bro. Like, it was, it was insane. And regardless of whether or not people think it was a good or bad battle, it was entertaining, dog. It was like watching wrestling. It was, it was like watching The Rock versus Stone Cold. Oh my God, what's going on up there? This is complete madness, bro. Disaster, I don't know what you think you're going to do next. Or I don't know if you think you're going to pop up back up on a URL smack stage, bro. But it seems like that crowd was not feeling you, bro. I don't know if it got anything to do with you trying to, you know what I'm saying, sabotage easy to block, Captain. You know what I'm saying? An ARP and blah, blah, blah. Right before you did that, this might have been instant karma. URL. Trying to work with disaster to paint narratives and ish on your competition and easy somebody who you at war with, all right? And then offer them a plate over on summer madness. That backfired, bro. You are around that backfired, bro. Instant karma, bro. Remy, mom. I love Remy, man. I love me some Remy, man. Remy, I love you. You know what I'm saying? You, you dope, man. You dope. On this card, I do what I want, bro. I'm very disappointed in one thing specifically. And that's that K-Shine is not on this goddamn card, bro. K-Shine, why are you not on Remy Ma's I Do What I Want card, bro? The title and the name of this card is suited for you, my man. It's suited for people like you, you know what I'm saying? People who do what they want, man. This just, <sighs> this kind of like makes me think that K-Shine is really still trapped into some kind of situation with URL to where if he takes a situation on another league, Another league is going to get a cease and desist. You know what I'm saying? A subpoena to go to court because K-Shine is technically still under their exclusive contract and their contracts and blah, blah, blah. And unlike Easy to Block Captain, K-Shine hasn't necessarily figured out a way around the situation to get looks on it. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of sucks, man. But I really wanted, I was really, really anticipating and hoping to hear that K-Shine was going to be on this card, bro. I was really, really hoping to hear that, man. Because every time K-Shine is questioned about an upcoming battle and Chrome 23 and RBE, he makes it seem as if though he got something coming up, you know what I mean, a blah, blah, blah. But, so that's very disappointing. But as far as the battles on the card go, bro, I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm not excited. And it's not because I don't think that it's a good card. It's just because I might have had high expectations of the card. I might have I might have had very high expectations. The thing is, is that, okay, we got a couple of solid battles we got the Geechee versus Easy to Block Captain, which I sure was probably, a, you know, an expensive battle to get. Blase, blase, blah. And that kind of makes the card what it is. I do what I want. Because technically, Geechee battles for URL. Easy, somebody who obviously we know the easy situation, hopped over to, you know what I'm saying, Chrome 23. So he does what he wants technically. So that battle, I understand why the card would be named that. But then I expected for there to be more reason why that card is named that, which is why I was expecting for a K-Shine to be on there, somebody like that. Um, but we got A-Ward versus uh, Charlie Clips. Now, I like the battle because I like both Charlie Clips and A-Ward. The thing is, is that they already had a one-on-one, -on -one. like they already had a one-round battle, which is why I'm not too, too excited. Even though I do like the battle, I'm not very excited about it. Only because they already battled one time. So this is kind of like a rematch between the two. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a new situation, new nothing. Plus, there's not no history or anything between an A-Ward and a Charlie Clips. So I don't feel like it's going to be too much. There's going to be some promotion, funny promotion on Charlie Clips' side to try to build, you know, anticipation or whatever. But, but salute to A-Ward, bro, for, for being somebody who people don't consider because he hasn't been on URL, he's not as good as he actually is, bro. When he actually is. Like, A-Ward is that good, bro. People don't understand. Like, think about what A-Ward's been doing recently, bro. Headlining cards. Like, being on major cards. The Max Outs. The Chrome 23s. Everything except URL. Every major card except URL, A-Ward is on. You know what I'm saying? So, when people like A-Verb try to paint A-Ward to be somebody like he's nobody because he hasn't been on URL and doesn't hasn't battled this person. Bro, A-Ward does his thing, bro. It doesn't matter if he's on URL or not. You know what I'm saying? A-Ward does the same. So salute to A-Ward for constantly and consistently being on these big cards, bro, without having to have gone through the URL's crucible process and all this stuff and having to battle these all these low tiers to then try to get a good look for yourself, to try to build yourself and your career and your future, and you thinking in that way. Salute to you, Ward. The battle itself, eh, I'm not too excited about it, but cool. It's going to be cool regardless. But then we got Shayna Ashley versus Rosenberg Raw. Again, dope, but not necessarily what I was anticipating or looking for on a card called I Do What I Want. You know what I mean? 
Um, then C3 versus First Lady Flames, another good matchup between the ladies, but also, again, just doesn't further give me reason to justify the name of the card. Like, the name of the card is I do what I want. So I was expecting, again, I don't know if my expectations was high, but I was expecting something a little bit different. Maybe two, I was maybe hoping three battles where it involved people who actually we know do what they want in some type of way and blah, blah, blah. But it's the one battle, Geechee Gotti versus uh, Easy to Block Captain is the reason why so I do what I want. Um, so hopefully there's another announcement. We don't know. It looks like it's five battles as of right right now. I think it's five battles. So hopefully there's one more announcement. I don't know. ARP on Max Out still got one more special announcement. You know what I'm saying? He says it's between two legends and two people that are well, very well known in the culture. So maybe K-Shine is on that. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all think of that whole Summer Sadness 13 situation. It was not a bad card, bro. It was actually very entertaining and the battles turned out to be actually pretty good. As far as the I do what I want card, Chrome 23, eh, I don't know how I feel about the card right now. I do love the Geechee versus Easy battle for sure. Uh, but the rest of the card, I don't know. It's, you know what I'm saying? But I still love Remy. This has nothing to do with Remy, nothing personal. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving my opinion on what's going on in the culture. You already know what it is, man. It's your boy Joe coming at you live and down right from the battle. <laughs>